Hey, Tony. Hey, Gizmo. Ooh. <sighs> oh, Tony, can I ask why you stopped celebrating Christmas? My father went missing on Christmas Eve. A few days later, the police began a search. I couldn't eat or sleep. It was snowing outside. The house was freezing. I decided to try and light a fire. That's when I noticed the smell. Ooh. The firefighters came and they broke the chimney top. And inside they found my dead father. He was dressed like Santa Claus. And in his hands he was holding a brand new Drop X Sennheiser PC37X gaming headset. Oh, is that the gaming headset that's supposed to be super comfy and plush? The sound quality is also great, which makes sense since Sennheiser has been making high quality audio products for over 80 years. That looks like a nice microphone. I use it to talk when I'm playing games like Fortnite. This one's for you, Dad. Daddy, no! It sounds like you recommend that gaming headset. Definitely. And if you go to the link in our description, you can get $20 off your purchase. You'll love getting your headset from their store, as opposed to prying it from the hands of a charred corpse of a loved one dressed as Saint Nick. So I told you my story. What's your reason for not celebrating Christmas? Well, Tony, I'm Jewish, which means I get eight PC37X headsets, one for every night of Hanukkah. Ah! Ah! All right, well, it's December, and that means we're gonna do a bunch of Christmas, winter, holiday reviews. So um, the only thing missing here is, uh, where's the decorations? Oh, you want decorations? Yeah. There, decorations. By the way, I am so happy that this year we've paid tribute to Ernest. So we did the jail uh, movie, we've done the Halloween one, Scared Stupid, and now the Christmas one which I gotta admit is not his best movie. Oh, you yeah. got but, that right. <laughs> yeah, but it's still one of my favorites. As a kid, um, this was one that I'd put on every year. The plot is that Santa is retiring and he has his new replacement Santa picked out, a children's TV show host, but he's got an agent who gets in the way. So Ernest teams up with a runaway teenager to save the day. Now, if that sounds like it doesn't make much sense, it's it doesn't make because much it sense. doesn't. It doesn't yeah. make much sense no. at all. <laughs> yeah. So I think the only way to go about this one is just talk about your favorite moments or least favorite, whatever you want. Uh, least favorite uh, when it starts. Yeah. Um, my my favorite was when it ended. Yeah. Okay. And I could put on a different movie. That <laughs> no, I, I'm, not, I'm just joking. Like <laughs> it starts and it shows all these weird drawings of Santa, like illustrations. Oh, it doesn't begin like a, a comedy. It, it starts yeah. off like yeah. it's going to be like, this traditional, like Christmas old movie. fashioned Christmas classic movie. But but but, it, then... but it shows like the Coke version of Santa. Yeah, like Santa's yeah. drinking yeah. Coke and stuff. I'm like, are they allowed to use that? And then later they show um, the TV show Santa. Uh, or the guy that they want, or sorry, the TV show guy that they, that he wants to be Santa um, on the set, and the little girl's drinking a Coke, mm. and I'm like, wait, is he well, supposed to be Santa Claus, like the new Coke Santa? Like they, and, but then that doesn't happen. It's just a brand. It's just a, uh, yeah. product placement. That's well, Coca-Cola did like, did they like partner with Sony for a bit to make movies and TV shows? So it might have had something to do with that. I'm not mm. sure. Yeah. But yeah, so it opens up with like, it cycles through like four different Christmas songs. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Which is kind of annoying. It doesn't show Because I'm not a big Christmas guy, so right away I was just in a bad mood. And, mm -hmm. like, I was real excited for this. When you made us watch uh, Goes to Jail, mm -hmm. I was afraid I wouldn't be into it. And I really, really liked it. Mm -hmm. I, that was one of my favorite episodes to edit. Jail's my, my favorite of yeah. the Ernest movies. I, when I was editing... Or Scared I, Stupid, one of the two. When I was editing, I was watching mm -hmm. all those old commercials. Mm -hmm. I'm like, oh, this guy was great. So oh, yeah. I, like... The commercials are great, yeah. I was excited for this yeah. one. And I was super yeah. let down. Well, well I, I still like this one, but the other two we've done this year are far better. Oh, I will a million say. times better. Yeah. Um, but my, one of my favorite scenes actually doesn't even have Ernest in it. It is the first scene in the airport where um, Santa is there. And we all know it's Santa because he keeps dropping these like really obvious yeah. hints. But the other guy at the airport who he's talking to, he... Um, he responds as if it were real life. He would never occur to him that the guy's really Santa. Yeah. First time in Orlando? Oh no, I fly in once a year. Of course, I usually come in a different way. Where are you from? Uh, up north. Me too, oh. Toronto. Really? What line of work are you in? Toys, mostly. No fooling, you been in it long? Longer than you can imagine. Oh, I hear that. <laughs> Is his response? Yeah, he, so he, he funny. thinks he's a fellow businessman. Yeah, and then his luggage is the magic sack. He it's, doesn't 
look like Santa. He does. He's got the beard. He's like yeah, but he's like really thin and old. Like, well, and I know that's the point of the story. Yeah. But like, if I saw if someone came in just wearing a regular business suit, <laughs> looking just like that, and went, "I'm Santa." Well, if I'm an adult, I'm going to be like, well, you're a crazy person. Yeah, which is what they do. Yeah, like, they but if I'm a kid, I'm going to be like, you're not Santa. What are you doing is, here? Get is, out. Which is funny. <laughs> well, but in the in the world of these movies, the kids know. The, the kids know I who guess. Santa is. But the adults have it's, forgotten. Like they don't. Um, <laughs> it's kind of funny because you're talking about how Santa is losing mm. his powers and he has to pass on the torch mm. to someone else that he picked all over the world to mm. be the next Santa. But seeing a Santa like wither and get old and die... Mm isn't fun yeah that's sad well he's not like dying he's just retiring right yes yeah. but yeah just... he's, he's well retiring like blade runner he's going in for time. <laughs> <laughs> no because because as soon as he passes off the powers i guess he's mortal now and then he's just gonna mm. die a regular death is that what i think he stays immortal so there's gotta be like a whole i see i never looked into it that way it's just a stupid <laughs> i know it's I an know, absurd but... plot but there must be like like a, a retirement home of all different santas i guess i guess well no because he said <laughs> In the movie, he said a he 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 was handed off the Santa thing from a German bloke okay. in like eighteen whatever, and mm. I guess he might be English or something. Mm. I forgot what his name at the end is, like Arthur Treacher or some shit like that. <laughs> but you know, I guess I, I don't think there would be that many Santas in this retirement home because mm. that only started in like the six. I, I have no idea. Do you know when Santa started? I have no idea. I just look history of Santa. I was not prepared to go into. We could, <laughs> I think we it could started, look into I it if you want. I think the Greeks but, uh, started it. I'm not sure. The Greeks didn't fucking... That's like a German Krampus shit, man. I think the Greeks started Santa. Anyway. Good. The movie it, doesn't make a lot of sense. Well, the thing is, like, we're picking apart the plot because we didn't have fun watching this it. This isn't a plot movie. This is just I a, know. This is just a silly, like, scene after scene. Like, okay, my next funny scene, <laughs> it, it, I think probably... I think you have only fair. funny scenes. Yeah. We have nothing but... That's all I got. <laughs> yeah, like, come on. We got, like, a list of funny scenes here. Okay, so okay. it might be the only earnest movie or the only one I can think of where Vern is in it. It's Santa's little party helper. Hi. This is Harmony. She's been having kind of a tough time so I'm helping her out. And he just ends up destroying the house. Okay, and that then, was my favorite yeah. part because yeah, yeah. that felt because, like earnest to me. Yeah, because yeah. every scene is like POV. Every shot is POV. Vern, yeah. Where it's got that weird like fisheye wide mm. angle lens that distorts Jim Varney's features when he's up close. He's like, "Hi, Vern," and he's got the tree. And then he there's a part where he's trying to pull like a light socket out of the and receptacle out the wall. <laughs> yeah, and <laughs> right. as his kid, that that I laughed myself to tears watching that when he when he pulls it out and you see the the cord ripping through the wall, creating like a path. Like a fucking going, cartoon. And it's, it's going to the light in like this weird like 90 degree, it makes these 90 degree turns yeah. and it goes right to, to where the light is and you're like, oh, he's going to he's gonna pull out the light. He's going to pull out the light and then boom, there it goes. Big flash of <laughs> and electric. Fucking, and the chandelier falls at was, one point. Yeah, yeah. How's Vern not yeah, gotten over straight over? He's pulling over. the wire and like the chandelier is going up and down. I mean, that's yeah. great. I like how Vern's a nuclear physicist, he says, I believe. Oh, yeah. <laughs> and the thing I about Vern is, um, I love how Vern's first person and it, I wish... Mm -hmm. I wish they shot so many scenes of first person stuff with Jim Varney over the years, mm -hmm. like like hours of it, because I'd love a like a fucking earnest VR game mm -hmm. where you're just watching you're just watching it as Varney. Wow, that is great. Um You know what I mean? Okay, so one other funny scene that I actually enjoyed. Mm -hmm. Anytime Jim Varney is dressed as the old lady with like the oh, broken yeah. neck, that I can't get enough of yeah. that. It's so funny. I love like okay. pretending to be the the guy's mother. Yeah, yeah. He's like, thank God his father didn't live long enough to see him. Like, I, and he kind of like pushes his neck. Yeah, he pushes his, like, like the, 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 the neck brace like, pushes his chin out. Well, yeah. I, I don't see, know what it is about that character. It cracks me up yeah. every single time. And, and that's and, and as funny as that one is, mm. all the different thing, the all the different characters that he plays, I, the, the two of them are even funnier than the old woman. There's the <laughs> teacher with the funny laugh. Oh. So when he's got the glasses on, and he he brings the. The teenager who is helping them for whatever reason to, to save yes. Christmas, yeah. like they go to the jail <clears throat> to try to get Santa out, and then he comes up with this plan that like uh, she's a, a student who's trying to do a report on like the inmates at the um, at the, the jail, jail. Yeah. Yeah. and he comes up and he's like, oh, isn't she just such a doll? <laughs> and he has that that stupid laugh. Oh, uh, creepy! Like, like I, I, yeah, <laughs> <laughs> like that that cracked me up. Like as a kid, that was yeah. another one that. And Santa's I, I, got like the prisoners singing Christmas carols for some reason. Yeah, yeah exactly. <laughs> and then my favorite of them, I think, is the, the snake, snake wrangler. The snake yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh. <laughs> Where he's like, oh, these movie people, they always want the snake 
snakes in the movies. And the, it says like snake on. It says like snake wrangler or whatever on the side of the car. And yeah. Snake is like backwards, like <laughs> ED and stuff. And he's just wearing like these dirty clothes, and and just the way he like pushes his neck out. And well, the fucking they, they set up so many like like they set up jokes, and then they actually pay off pretty well because mm. then they eventually put real snakes. Yeah, Cause, yeah. Cause originally they have Santa Claus under the tarp, like mm. they're trying to sneak into with the, a with the maraca. A, they're trying to sneak into a movie studio, and he has a maraca and like garden hoses. Yeah, and then they put real snakes back there, <laughs> and and, he, and uh, Jim Varney's like, yeah, you probably don't want to go back there now. Yeah, like he fills a fucking snake. <laughs> So then there's also the uh, the scene where he's making the pancakes and he's telling the story he's of them up in the air. Yeah, he flips them up and like, I don't know where that cliche started, but they stick to the ceiling mm. and he's still standing there with the spatula telling the story about Santa, how he had this um, dream as a kid or this moment where he thought he heard Santa stuck in the ventilation system or like in the heating system. And uh, Santa had to turn into a blob and ooze his way through the vent. Which they never and talk about again. Like they never go like, "Hey, no. do I have magic powers I can ooze through?" Like, no, that's why <laughs> it's, air it's so funny because they never bring it up anywhere else. It's just this weird story that okay, Santa can turn into a blob. Okay, sure. And then just as he finishes the story, the the pancakes come back down and he catches them. <laughs> and it's like, of course, of course, that's the way it goes. I don't think this movie knows how reindeer work in the beginning no because they're like oh it's flying reindeer but then they're just crawling on the wall like spider-man and i'm yeah. like that's not flying that's a yeah. different power also like call animal control or the yeah, yeah. zoo or something I also, why did they why did he fly from the north pole or wherever <clears throat> mm -hmm. to um uh, i guess we're in orlando yeah, he, that, like he could have flew yeah. the reindeers there. Yeah, he flies in a plane, yeah. and then the reindeer get shipped on to, the same plane. to the Penn and Teller ripoff characters, <laughs> yeah. who, um, who have a different job in every uh, movie. And I was and, excited um, to see them. That that skinny guy is mm. so funny looking. Yeah, yeah. I think he's I remember, funny in um, uh, the jail old? one where he's got the gun. Yeah, he's, he was great he's, he's in the jail the, one, so I was excited. Yeah, he's, he's doing the target practice with the gingerbread men out of the, um, out of the toaster yeah. and all that. This one, they're not quite as funny, and the scenes of them don't overlap with the earnest scenes like yeah. it's just it, it's a separate is, world is, is that the old man from um like old school like blue i don't think it's blue no right. that's a different actor i think or just a guy who can put his lip over his nose like, he, <laughs> he, this guy does some shit yeah oh. i guess a few scenes i like is when uh the taxi club he's on he's on the road and he finally has santa in the taxi uh, taxi number sixty nine, by the way. Not sure why. Not sure why yeah, that happened. I don't know why that is. Yeah, uh, I, I was like, is that a joke? I don't think it was first? a joke back then. Yeah, maybe. I don't know. Uh, it wasn't invented pre, yet. Uh, maybe pre Bill and Ted, right or no? Yeah, I don't know. This is nineteen eighty eight. Nineteen eighty eight. Yeah. So so taxi cab sixty nine is on the road and Christmas tree. Uh, there's a Christmas tree truck and yeah. it, uh, Christmas tree falls off the road like it's fucking final destination. Oh yeah. And <laughs> Whoa, little creep. Oh. Even in emergency situations, always follow safe driving. You'll notice that I am using my emergency signal indicators when in reverse. Open up. Here, hold us a minute. Well, one trope in the movie I mm -hmm. want to talk about is there's always scenes, it, it could be Jingle All The Way, it could be a, a, a Christmas Vacation, it doesn't matter, where you have people on the street leaving stores with fully wrapped presents already. And like he's like running them down the street and they're always throwing their presents everywhere. Yeah, there's like some stores that do wrap your presents. But not like that. Not like that. Yeah, well clearly they do it because they don't want to have like name brand, like, you know, they don't yeah. want like someone holding an NES walking down the street or yeah. like, you know, like a, a crock pot mm. or some shit. Like, mm. you know, they have to be wrapped. But it's always funny to see these movies. <clears throat> Everyone's walking down the street with like 50 presents, which I've, which I've never seen before. No, no. In like New York or otherwise. I like, speaking of the presents, I like how it explains how Santa's sack can hold that many presents because it, it, they open it and it's like a magic sack and yeah. like everything kind of like it doesn't come out of the bag it appears out of the bag kind of yeah. like uh, with Link carrying all the stuff around how in the uh, <laughs> bag of holding the, the cartoon they, they had everything kind of shrink down yeah you know <laughs> it's it, uh, the bag's funny because it's kind of like the fucking the, uh, the, the briefcase in Pulp Fiction where mm. they open it up it, and they just the light shines the out the light shines oh, yeah. <laughs> and it's like so maybe that's what was in that suitcase. Maybe, maybe. Yeah. <laughs> that's, 
<laughs> John Travolta was looking at Santa's. <laughs> yeah, but you have... And, not, and, and it's funny because they don't know how to use the sack, so they just pick random things out of it. Because yeah. I guess Santa's like, oh, Tony gets this or James gets mm. that or whatever. Yeah. But they're just pulling random things. So do those kids not get those presents now? Like, did they exhaust the system? I, yeah, that's what they were implying, that she was just being like a spoiled brat and like she was just basically stealing all these presents that, that she wasn't even like... W- wanting like she'd be like no no not that not that do we you know? get a reason why she is the way she is because like she um, Santa's like you should go, you shouldn't run away from home you should go home and I'm like well wait mm-hmm. Santa is does she have a reason for not wanting they, to like we don't have to learn that her yeah. parents are like having troubles or something but they don't really go into it much it's mm-hmm. like weird oh uh, okay yeah I wasn't really clear on what her deal was Th- there's a lot that's not clear <laughs> you know, there's, there's so much that's not clear in this yeah so I, I like the, the the horror film inside the movie Christmas Slay oh which I think is a real title is yeah no I'm mad because I wanted to review Santa Slay this oh, year but it didn't he, make it on the list oh, with sorry, Bill Kelly. Goldberg <laughs> Christmas instead of talking Slay. about Ernest guys. Yeah. <laughs> Christmas sleigh with yeah. the so it's basically like this weird like creature from the Black Lagoon swamp thing creature and um, comes in and is like just looks like a, a pile of junk. It looks like they put like film reels on him, like yeah. they're stringy stuff all over it. Yeah. But it's clearly the creature yeah. from the Black yeah. Lagoon. It's so clearly that. Yeah, yeah. Um, or a little bit of like Toxic Avenger going on mm-hmm. with it. Yeah. Um, Do you guys remember the real monster in that room? What? Like when the monster comes in. What? Uh, wait, so the one guy, the whole thing is that the um, uh, the guy who wants to be Santa, the the the, the, the TV show guy, mm. doesn't want to curse on camera. Mm-hmm. He wants to be like a nice guy. So you know, he's like, cut, cut, cut. I, I can't say curse words. Movie's mm-hmm. over or whatever. But when they cut the camera and they show everyone disappointed, they show this fucking guy behind the camera with this red long hair, <laughs> the most ginger motherfucker you've ever seen, wearing like a full ski tracksuit that's all cyan and yellow and like weird. <laughs> And he scares the fucking shit out of me. And then later okay. in the movie, he just walks by the camera. Okay. He looks like Carrot Top, and he scared the shit out of me. I don't remember that at all. Really? You don't get... Mm. No, you mm. know what I felt bad for in this movie? Uh, the, the the TV show guy's agent. Mm. I know they're trying to make him to be a bad guy, yeah, but yeah. like... The dude just lost his job. He yeah. got him a job in this movie. Yeah, yeah. He's like getting him these big parts. He's like, you got to work with me here. Like, I'm doing this for yeah, you. Yeah, yeah. I'm doing this. And like the movie's then, like, this guy's a bad guy because he doesn't believe in Santa. <laughs> but like, he did nothing wrong. It's not his fault he doesn't oh. believe in Santa. Yeah, yeah. I, I love he's it. an adult. Like, he's got this guy a job. He's helping and, this guy. And then they're like, oh, yeah, he sent Santa to the cops because he's mean. It's like, no, he was concerned about the guy. He's like, this guy's not well. He's like, crazy. he doesn't need to be like, he did nothing wrong. And it made me so I, bad I, that the movie wanted him to be a bad guy. I'm like, he's. I kind of want a full movie of one, Sa- like Santa going to jail because the Santa mug mm. shots, the fingerprints that have yeah. like the snowflakes on yeah, them, yeah. Yeah. him making the, like the people in the jail sing, like the, the other criminals and stuff like that. Mm-hmm. I thought that was like really funny, good shit. They kind of did it a little bit in last year's Christmas Chronicle with, uh, uh, Kurt Russell, and I think which, one of the, which also sucked, but it was fun seeing Kurt Russell as Santa Claus. In I one guess. of the Santa, the Santa Claus or Tim Allen movies, I think there's a jail scene. And speaking of which, a lot of movies rip this movie off with stuff, like a lot it, of stuff the, with the Santa Claus. I, I was thinking of a lot of movies when I was yeah, watching this. Yeah. There's a part where the military wants to shoot down Santa, which happens mm-hmm. in Nightmare Before Christmas. Mm-hmm. There, there seems like a lot of stuff was lifted from this film. Yeah. 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 Like, it kind of feels like when you watch this, it's like stuff that you've seen before, but it came early. Yeah. Um, what I love is when he's flying around the <clears> earth in the sleigh and like you just see the Superman. Thing, like, whew, yeah, exactly. It really like, does look like Superman. Exactly. Like when he spins the world mm-hmm. around. Um, it's just funny to think that Ernest is doing that, like this epic stuff. I thought there was going to be a twist where it's like, well, Ernest should probably be Santa because he's actually doing the work. Yeah, yeah. What was the point of Ernest in this again? Almost nothing. Yeah, yeah like he really... <laughs> it's called Ernest Saves Christmas, but it's more like Ernest stands by while stuff happens. Yeah. And yeah. actually makes situations worse because he brought the girl on who ruins the whole... Like, it, yeah. It, yeah. Like, Even as a kid, I wonder that. I'm like, how does he save Christmas in this movie? Okay, yeah. do you think this is an example... Someone had a script. They said, hey, I got this Christmas script. And then someone else said, hey, I'm trying to get an Ernest sequel yeah. off the ground. And it, they went, guess what? Let's let's work Ernest into this script. Because mm. it doesn't feel like an mm. Ernest. When Ernest isn't in this movie, mm. it does not feel like an Ernest movie mm. at all. Mm. 
Uh, I guess yeah, that's one thing. It's very possible, yeah. Yeah, th- I guess that's one thing Goes to Jail had over this. The mm. B plot of that movie also had Jim Varney. Yeah, so, it, it, he had twice the Varney. Yeah, yeah, twice. Yeah. yeah, and this one, when you don't have Jim Varney, mm. for me, nothing was really interesting mm. in this outside of Ernest. That's a better concept. Maybe Santa looks like. Jim Varney with a beard, or it's like some weird thing. That, like that. would have been great. Yeah, that would have been great. Or Ernest gets confused for one of the elves, or something happens. Mm-hmm. There's no Rudolph in this movie. They could have done something there. Yeah, I really feel like you could have made a good Ernest Santa Claus movie, more focused on Ernest than whatever. This feels. Mm-hmm. This feels like when you watch a Hellraiser mm-hmm. sequel after like five, where they yeah. just started throwing <laughs> Pinhead in already written scripts. Uh-huh. This is what it feels like. Oh, here's a. The new Santa Claus. Let's throw a fucking Ernest in it. There you go. Merry Christmas. Mm-hmm. So, at least for me. Maybe yeah. not for you guys. Final thoughts? Oh, oh, fi- <laughs> final thoughts is that yeah. it's it's absurd. It's an absolutely absurd, nonsensical movie, but I still love it, and I still get a lot of laughs out of it. I feel really <laughs> bad that we just ripped apart this movie in front of no, you. I'm right. so sorry. No, that's all right. Uh, you know, maybe if I was, was young, I mean, I probably watched yeah, this because I, I saw. I was young when I saw it, yeah. Maybe if I watched it more as a kid, yeah. it might be like a Stockholm thing where mm. I like it. But after how excited I got after the last Ernest oh, movie yeah, and the commercials, yeah, yeah. I was really, I really yeah. hyped this one up. And oh, I just, okay. you may, oh, you got too hyped, maybe. I got way too hyped oh. for Ernest. I'm oh. sorry. Well, if you're going to start out with Ernest, I say look at all the commercials. Yeah. Um, there's like on Amazon Prime, I think there's like two volumes of like the best of Ernest commercials. Yeah. Then watch, uh, I would say the jail one. Yeah. And the scared, stupid one. Scared, stupid, and yeah. then just take as far as you want to go. Air brakes. <laughs>